Yeah, these are all Brussels sprouts. See that guy right there? Holy mackerel. Yeah, these are all these big guys. Are to be honest, sprouts. I don't even know how they grow or what they look like. But this, uh, is a, this is a They grow in pretty decent soil and fair soil. This is all. This was gravel because this was a dairy. So this is the turnaround before. So I had to dig down, remove all the gravel to the fill in the soil. Those will be ready. Huh. And nice. of course, this is all beyond organic, which means it's going to be delicious. Wait for a good couple of frost. Uh, they don't really get good until after they frost. That's when they get sweet and delicious. And, yeah. But they're growing pretty well. Nice little cauliflower. Cauliflower, yep. This is brewer's grain. This is an experiment. I don't know if I like it yet, but this is left over from a brewery and I'm using it as a compost. And so far, so good. We'll see what happens with it. But is that like mold on top? Yeah. Or? This. Well, what it is is it's uh, fungus. So oh, when yes. fungus grows, this see that white part? Right. That's the. So this is all one giant mushroom, like this shaggy parasol that will open its cap. Is probably what it is, and this is just the fruiting the body. Yeah, these are just the fruiting bodies of this. It's very naturally occurring, but that mushroom, once it's gone through here and completely composted all this, which it'll do, it'll take all the nutrients out of it. In fact, there's a bunch uh, right there. Then it's yeah, and I soaked those last night. That's what killed them. But um, after the point where you know completely compost and winter takes place, so on and so forth, then it just becomes a nutrient dense mulch. Uh, very, very high nitrogen, so it's like a fertilizer. It is a fertilizer, uh, but also it's uh, you know it forms a good hard cake-like structure so that not as much stuff pokes through it. And reduces my weeding time. This is a these are all new beds that I made this spring. Kind of half managed throughout the course of the year. They did all right. These are all lettuces that are going to seed. So as they dry up, the seed heads like this. I'll actually pull it out and now I have lettuce seed for next year. I don't have to buy anymore. There's a bunch of different varieties. Same thing here, this is carrot seed. Carrot seed, huh. So, I don't think I've ever seen a carrot get that far. Yep, just little carrot seeds. And uh, just let, you know, there's probably, I don't know, I probably pulled 80 pounds of carrots off of this, maybe a little less, 60 pounds of carrots out of this patch, but I left uh, three or four plants in here, and they went to seed. And now I have carrot seeds. You can see this one did really well. So it's chock full of seed. I probably want to buy carrot seed ever again. <laughs> yeah. Carrots for life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a famous George Washington quote that says, uh, a, "A fool is defined as a farmer who buys more seed more than once." <laughs>